welcome to my channel so for today's video i'm basically going to be telling you some bl dramas to watch so right now i'm going to give you just 10 because if i were to put all of them in a video this video would be like two hours long probably more i've watched probably over 50 bl dramas and i would say about like 15 non bl dramas um like k-dramas any drama like general um which i will be giving you guys those as well but i do focus a bit more on bl but i will at one point talk about regular dramas um but i am more of a bl fan and i am into some gls although the only gl i've really watched is pearl next door and the new video the new episode that dropped like two days ago after like three weeks of waiting um did check me a bit that's why i didn't react to it and i found out sorry in the morning that i was like i'm not about to pull this camera out and record i was like no ma'am so but if the next episode does come out i probably will i probably will record it maybe maybe not i don't know depending on what day it comes out i'm pretty sure it's every sunday hopefully i can i don't think i could but it all depends like on fridays i usually have school when some other episodes come out of other dramas um but one of my dramas is gonna be ending in basically two weeks which i'm very sad about which i will be talking about that one um so just come down to watching two dramas every friday which kind of sucks again i also did try to post episode 13 and 6 of friends on anton hon chun latte but it wasn't happening they just didn't want it on i still filmed me reacting to 14 and 8 no and 7 i am trying to post them but i don't know they don't want my reactions up online if anything i did already download the videos i need for tarn type i will be editing them and trying to get that up as soon as possible um, I do want to have them up before the next episode comes out, obviously. I don't want to be backtracked on that. We're two minutes into this video and I haven't gotten to the point. So, I'm going to be giving you 10 series to watch. Um, the only series that I'm putting, the only two series that I'm putting together are because I wouldn't consider the other one like a full length series. Just because they had so short episodes, like, you know what I mean? I'll explain what I mean. So, here on this notepad, I wrote all 10 that I'm going to be talking about. So, the first one I'm going to be talking about, which I think did so well 2020, and it did really good in America and internationally. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Together, the series. Um, so, Together, the series is something we really don't see. Of course, we see the university plot, but we haven't really seen a plot before where there is... Like a straight boy asks another boy to be his fake boyfriend to get rid of somebody. We really never see that. We do see like the friends like eventually like they hate each other and they fall in love type of situation. But that wasn't the situation with this series as of course Tyne. Of course being Tyne that he was straight um, and he like. Well, he didn't like anybody he was just into girls and like wanting to look at girls with his friends which was really weird i was like y'all so cute just like why are you staring at girls like that um and then we see sadawat which is a very close person not socially like talking to anybody besides his friends and doesn't like his fans <laughs> For the most part but he's into music and he's in a music club whatever so of course time is trying real hard to get to him and get to make him his fake boyfriend so they made the deal where it's if time passes the audition for the music club that he will be his fake boyfriend and that's where everything begins like that i'm not trying to spoil the whole series you know what i mean Okay, and then I put together when we were still together because I'm pretty sure still together only had five episodes. So I didn't want to like 
make it a thing i don't know i just put them together because why not you know so so together is basically them still together and still going through obstacles and challenges but of course now we see a few or more couples and also a bit of their obstacles if you for say um but we also see newer couples wanting to spark if that makes sense mm -hmm. okay then at number two i have of course it's not like a ranking type situation of me like trying to rank them because oh this one's better than the other but you know so two i have love by chance now love by chance i'm pretty sure it came out 2017 maybe 2018 but i'm pretty sure 2017 is when it came out and basically it is i have my phone um falling in love by chance in a way although some of it wasn't by chance um so we had a and p which were the main couple of this whole series and then we had about three side couples um so a and p they kind of like stumble upon each other like that first look just like made them i guess feel something if you want to say and their relationship kind of built up from that um which is very it was a very like sweet kind of humble i want to say humble but like a sweet relationship but like you know because pete was so like sweet and kind and like he didn't think like others because he didn't think oh i have money i can't hang out with these poor people like that don't have the same amount of money i have for the same things that i have then moving on to the next couple, we had Tin and Can. So Can was Ace's friend from like soccer, and we had Tyne, who was Ace's friend because they studied at the same part of the university. And their relationship kind of started as of like a hate love, yeah, hate to love, because Tyne was very rude. Tyne, did I just say Tyne? <laughs> Tin was very rude to Cam, to Ed, to anybody that had few, uh, less things than he did. So, and he was also kind of getting in the way of A and Pete's relationship. But I think time, once he realized that Cam is the person he needed in his life because he was one of like the few people that actually believed everything he said and saw the good in him. Um, things start to change and his feelings start to open up and look at things in a different way that he didn't look at like that okay and the next couple we have is techno and kula probably saying that wrong but so techno is the older brother of technic and of course techno is also the captain pretty sure of the soccer team at the university and then we have Kekula who's Technic who's Techno's younger brothers um he's his friend of Technic so Kekula's Technic's friend and they're in high school and he has like this whole big old crush on Techno and basically he goes back and forth with Techno's brother um talking about if you give me a picture of Techno I'll give you this or I give me this help me get closer to techno and i'll give you a girl's number um because they were in the mindset of like techno is stupid so he's not gonna like catch on to this i know um the one of the last scenes of um techno and can collab was very like uh controversial and it really did bug many people because um everybody saw it as sexual assault or you know doing something without his permission because he was drunk um i know that it if it was like a real life situation it would have been something that i don't agree on because of course it's like nobody wants to be taken advantage of but i understand the director's point of view because it was kind of to build the plot but again i don't agree with the whole sexual harassment not consent part but that's how the director wanted to build up their plot and how he found it to build up their plot which <laughs> that's how they did it okay then we have thumb and thar now thumb and thar 
our two brothers. I'm pretty sure they're step brothers. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Um, of course, Star was going to Paris. That's how they're connected to Tarn type. This love for chance is connected to Tarn type. You don't see the same old characters, but like they're connected. Um, he went to Paris because he was raped. Um, and his brother never found out. So once he came back, you know, stuff wasn't like said and like feelings were like not in the right place. So it was very really, like not knowing what happened to Tarn, done this something he shouldn't have. And I will always stand by the thing that he shouldn't have done that. But again, I understand he didn't know. So it's like a both sides you have to understand both sides type thing okay then the next one we have is a chance to love now this is the continuation of love by chance the reason why i put them separate is because they're two like a very long series and for the fact that yeah you do see the continuation of um techno and kekula um thumb and thar and actually in this series um p and a broke up because basically uh Pete like that wanted him to go with him and like Pete ended up signing a contract I'm pretty sure that it was like you come with me once you graduate you can have contact with it um and then we actually see Tin and Ken's relationship hit like a reverse like backtrack thing where it's like they don't know each other at all in the beginning of the series I don't know why they did that I don't get it but they ended up feeding us so I'm not really mad um but yeah it just hit a reverse where like everything that happened in the first series like disappeared like it wasn't it wasn't existing <laughs> yeah so i hopped up i hopped on to snapchat to add this to the video um because i forgot to mention um tool and hen which is i'm pretty sure short for the same well tool is um tin's older brother and hen it was like tool like tool um babysitter friend like he's like the same age as him basically and he actually left and stopped working for them um after tool got a girl pregnant so they haven't seen each other for years tool couldn't have like didn't have any information on him of where he was staying and um tin actually found him to ask him for a favor but yeah i forgot to mention them they're in season two and yeah they're pretty good Okay, next we have friend zone. Now I am going to say it off the bat, I am enjoying friend zone too, way more than friend zone. But again, um, I would put it as a VL drama, GL drama, regular drama, whatever you want to put it as. But whatever, I'm gonna consider it a BL. <laughs> Why not? So we do see a lot of things like Earth and Sam's relationship kind of start and stuff and. The obstacles we do see stud and his way of life we see boyo <laughs> oh my god i don't remember other names but you see a lot of hardships and a lot of like things happening in the relationships that don't go very well you see a lot of cheating and mistakes obstacles and all of that now we have friends on two and i'm pretty sure this is the only reason why it's my favorite because p because <laughs> pop is in it arm if y'all don't know arm wc after a picture of arm right here man it's fine he's probably like my new favorite bill actor because he's a singer dancer stylist actor like girl he's a full package anyways back to friend zone two dangerous era um it's basically the continuation of all the relationships and how earth and p sam have to go through struggles again in the relationship thinking okay we already went through our hardship moment let's see how we can continue from there and if this relationship can maintain the relationship they want because um you know after sam cheated on earth with stud it really ended 
the relationship with earth and stud but it also kind of brought a side of earth like we wouldn't think we would have seen and and also like a kind of miserable side of p sam and of course now p sam's ex-boyfriend pop comes into the picture to, which kind of stirs up the plot between them and again boyo with her ex-man but now bringing in the new man which is a man for basically because he's also talking to this girl at the same time and she really feels for him but he sees them as just sex buddies so it's just like nothing serious but it's hurting her but her being her is also trying to like get at him by triggering him with her being with other guys and so and saying other stuff that would bother him so there's two more episodes left of the series and i'm super excited to see how it ends i haven't um after episode 13 which was i'm pretty sure pops last time being in the show which is very sad hopefully we see them in episode 15 or 16. um as i how i would want this to go i would want it to go in the way of studded earth being together um i feel like they're they're a good match for each other and i feel like the love is there just earth doesn't want to see it or stud and pop being together is also a thing that i would like to see or maybe earth and sam stay together and they found a way to fix their relationship and get over the hardships and everything that's gone with them or, yeah, or sam and pop together you know although like pop did do stuff that kind of ruined sam you know there's always a like, second chance everybody deserves so hey the next drama is ton hon ton latte now this is kind of like a i was in love with my childhood friend disappeared like he left and then he comes back like we're full of growths like full of full adults and i still have feelings for him so you have Ton Hon who came back and I don't know where and Ton Latte. Um who's also like you know, I don't know, we're like, ooh. And they basically move in together and he Ton Hon has roommates, which I forgot the name, but I love that couple. Oh my god, what's their name? <laughs> Why can't I pick up the names that I'm watching the series right now? Whatever. They're actually in a relationship together, but Ton Han doesn't know because he's very, I wouldn't say homophobic, but kind of is, but it, because like that's what his dad showed him. So he had the belief like men can't be together. Um, and Chon is like trying to hold his feelings and like not do stuff that will kind of ruin their friendship but he kind of does and his two roommates relationship kind of gets exposed but they expose themselves because they wanted to and they believe that that was what was right at the moment although they try to get Miriam to kind of like make it seem as it didn't they at the beginning because they didn't want to expose their relationship they saw that we rather expose the relationship and kind of start opening his eyes to where two males can be together and then they try to make him jealous using his friend um Tom's friend and yeah it's really good though like honestly it's one of the best dramas I've seen and that's not that Okay, the next one we have is Tarn Type. Now, I know a lot of people don't like Tarn Type for the way the plot is. Um, going with, like, the whole, like, sexual assault and the homophobic area 
and all of that um so basically they're two roommates trying to type they move in together and of course type when moving in with tarn didn't know um tarn was gay until his friend techno told him that he was gay um and once he goes back to his bedroom he's like go to the room he's like okay are you gay and he confirms and he's like okay get out that's where like the hate starts coming from type and i kind of understand his hate towards Tarn. um i know because something did happen in his childhood that kind of triggered the fact that he lived with somebody gay and i know you shouldn't like hate a whole group of people or a whole like yeah a group of people for what happened to you in your past but he wasn't very mature and didn't see it in that way he saw it as oh you're the same as that person so i can't trust you i can't be around you because i don't want to go through the same thing and i totally understand that and then there was like that first scene where like tarn kind of like touched type and nobody saw that correct um again it's stuff that they wrote and i can't really tell them how to write their story and their things i personally really like the series just because how it developed um and kind of opened types eyes of it of course i'm not gonna agree with everything in every series but i'm not gonna hate a series because of that um i know that it was wrong and i know my beliefs and what i believe um but yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, so the next drama is um, Tarn Type Season 2, basically seven years of love. So they've been together seven years. <laughs> um, and there's only eight episodes out right now. But you still kind of see their struggles. And we see a lot of struggles for Type. But kind of also jealous moments and new people trying to come in and ruin their relationship once again even after seven years and you kind of also see trying trying to make the relationship a bit more serious but type doesn't want to or i don't know if it's fear and i really don't know i can't tell you okay then the next drama we have is until we meet again now this is one of my favorite dramas ever honestly this brings in the new kind of plot that we haven't really seen which is reincarnation um i did once we see before i see one of like getting another chance to live and reincarnating but like it's getting another chance to live which i'll get into that one in another video so we had corn and in uh, who were in love well, we would, mm, yeah and the whole thing was like their dads didn't want them to be together so they kind of snuck around and stuff and um one day you know they were caught and corn you know at first it was a one-sided love from in but then corn eventually opened up to in um so yeah once their parents caught them in their condo you know i guess there was so much shit that they couldn't take it anymore corn grabbed his dad's gun from his pocket and shot himself in the head um so that's really sad um and then of course in seeing that did the same thing so they both killed themselves um it's a double suicide and at the funeral they had a red thread wrapped around their pinky and kind of around their wrist connecting them both and that's like the blood wrestled to the heart um and they both reincarnated as two different people um, of course um we had corn go into being the president of the swim club his third year at the university and we had in who was parm um freshman at the university cooking club and every time they look at each other they kind of feel something but it also gives them flashbacks to their past lives and they even talk about how the wrapping red string around your pinky and around your wrist is like a symbol of double suicide um you know because it couldn't be together and it's basically them looking back at their past every time they see each other and having to 
work out of that and stop thinking about their past and kind of like worry right now about their future and their future together because at one point that's like eating up their brain and like getting them into this moment where it's like you know kind of like I have to repeat the cycle that happened before like we're never gonna have our happy ending because our parents may be not be supportive of us and that was just kind of like their past selves in their brains kind of telling them that especially with parm so y'all i'm back on snapchat because i forgot about team and win and i'm very mad at myself because they're my favorite ship and i forgot them like girl i was so involved in the reincarnation that i didn't realize i missed my two babies but yes um so team and win so win is basically like the vice president of the swimming club he's best friends with dean and um team meets um parm like at the freshman thing but he also joins the swimming club as his club of choice and they actually start getting really close and theirs doesn't have to do anything with their past selves just them falling for each other basically yeah i'm kind of mad at myself if i got them Okay, and the last one we have is Theory of Love. Now, Theory of Love doesn't have a continuation, but it does have a special episode that came out this year. So, Theory of Love is basically falling in love with your best friend and not telling them. So, we have Third and Kai. So, Third has been in love with Kai for about three years, but Kai is a man whore and he basically has to see that every day and it kind of like eats at him, like, you know? And. One day he tells him he likes him, but Kai believes that that was Third's way of trying to get him back with his ex-girlfriend, which was not the case. Um, and, you know, Two tries to help Third once he finds out that Third is in love with Kai to get them closer. And eventually Third moved in with Kai. Um, because like he didn't have a place to live he didn't have money to pay for his condo supposedly but it was worth for him because he kind of saw everything even closer and seeing how Kai really didn't care about him because he would like tell him to leave so he can be with this girl for a moment and it just kept eating at him to the point where he broke and decided to leave and just became like a weird side of third and cold in a way and then Kai kind of realizes where he did wrong and that his feelings are there for third and he feels some type of way for third and he tries to make it right. And at that point when he does realize that third is like, okay, I moved on because all you do is kind of hurt me. So I really do enjoy how the plot develops and you know, we really don't see much of that either of like best friends are in love, like one-sided best friend love. Like we do see a lot of one-sided love, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. On here because I forgot to mention Two and Un. So Two and Un are a couple um, later on in the series. And Bone also falls for like an elder woman it doesn't go to how he wanted it to go but eventually he does find his happy ending so yeah <laughs> we're recording the other thing i also forgot i don't know if i mentioned this in the video or not but anyways um theory of love has a special episode called stand by me it's like the continuation it's like one whole episode yeah that's pretty much it i enjoyed that too but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you have dramas to watch if you are just getting into BL dramas because if you are into BL dramas already I'm pretty sure you've probably seen all of these but you may have not so go at it and enjoy them because I enjoyed them but you'll probably enjoy them anyways 